विच ड्रग एक्ट्स वाया द टाइरोजिन काइनेस रिसेप्टर ये इंसुलिन बी टी एस एच सी एल एच डी एम एस एच नाउ लेट एस सी दिस इंसुलिन एक्ट्स ऑन स्पेसिफिक रिसेप्टर विच इज लोकेटेड ऑन द सेल मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ प्रैक्टिकली एवरी सेल बट द डेंसिटी डिपेंड्स ऑन द सेल टाइप लीवर सेल्स एंड फैट सेल्स आर वेरी रिच नाउ दिस इंसुलिन रिसेप्टर इज अ रिसेप्टर टाइरोजिन काइनेस दैट इज आर टी के नाउ दिस आर टी के इज अ हेट्रो टेट्रामेरिक ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन टेट्रामेरिक मीन्स फोर आर देर कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू एक्स्ट्रा सेलर अल्फा एंड टू ट्रांसमेम्रेन बीटा सब यूनिट एंड दे आर ऑल लिंक टूगेदर बाई डाई सल्फाइड बॉन्ड So the correct option here is insulin. Tadalafil should not be given with A vasodilator, B antibiotic, C vasoconstrictor, D valproate. Now, what is tadalafil? Tadalafil. Can you guess in what it is used? Tadalafil, in fact, relaxes the muscles of blood vessels and increases blood flow to particular areas of the body. This tadalafil is used to treat the erectile dysfunction, that is, impotence, and the symptoms of benign prostatic hypertrophy. that is enlarged prostate you cannot give tadalafil it is already a vasodilator if you give it with along with another vasodilator what will happen there will be a sudden and serious decrease in blood pressure so that's why the answer is ye vasodilator so tadalafil should never be given with vasodilator because it can cause sudden and serious decrease in blood pressure which drug decreases the bone resorption in osteoporosis a teriparatide b risedronate c cortisone d cimetidine so what do you think here this resetronate bifosphonate inhibits the bone resorption by actions on osteoclast precursor in osteoporosis patient resetronate is a amino bifosphonate the indication of resetronate is prevention and treatment of osteoporosis so the correct option here is b risedronate so risedronate decreases the bone resorption in osteoporosis mechanism of action of colchicine in acute gout is a uric acid nephrolithiasis b deficiency of enzyme xanthine oxidase c increase in serum urate concentration d renal disease involving interstitial tissues so gout is a hereditary disease we all know there is as it is associated with the increase in serum uric acid due to increased production or decreased excretion of uric acid and uric salt it is thought to be ca caused by a lack of enzyme needed to completely metabolize purines for renal excretion so the correct option here is deficiency of enzyme xanthine oxidase the drug of choice for invasive aspergillosis is a posaconazole b voriconazole c liposomal amphotericin b d 
capsophungin. The preferred treatment for primary invasive aspergillosis is voriconazole, which has been found superior to amphotericin B. So the correct option here is voriconazole. Fluoroquinolone contraindicated in liver disease is A. Levofloxacin B. P. Fluxacin C. O. Fluxacin D. Lomefloxacin Now P. Fluxacin has a longer T half. If it has a longer T half, what it will happen? It will accumulate on reported, repeated dosing and achieving plasma concentration twice as high after a single dose. Because of this longer T half, it is effective in many systemic infection as well. But the dose of P fluxacin needs to be reduced in liver disease, but not in renal insufficiency. So the correct option here is P fluxacin. So fluoroquinolone contraindicated in liver diseases. P-fluxacin. Drug of choice for onychomycosis is A. Terbinafin, B. Fluconazole, C. Nistatin, D. Itraconazole. Now, onychomycosis, onai means nail. Onychomycosis is a fungal infection of nail which is caused by a dermatophyte. It is very difficult to treat because of slow growth of nail. Older antifungal agent are unsuitable. Ketoconazole, grisofulvin are unsuitable. So, terbinafine is very much suitable. So, the correct option here is terbinafine. which is not a prokinetic agent. A. Dopamine antagonist B. 5-HT4 agonist C. Macrolide D. Diphenyl methane Now what is a prokinetic drug? Prokinetic drugs are the drugs that promote gastrointestinal transit and speed the gastric emptying by enhancing coordinated propulsive motility. This excludes the traditional cholinomimetic and anti-CHs. So what is the correct option here? The correct option here is diphenylmethane. Diphenylmethane is not a prokinetic agent. Which drug need continuous monitoring of prothrombin time? A aspirin, B. leprudin, C. digoxin, D. comedin. So, now comedin, comedin, the other name is warfarin. It is an anticoagulant. So, warfarin is a comarin anticoagulant used for prophylaxis and treatment of thromboembolic complication which are associated with cardiac valve replacement and atrial fibrillation as well as prophylaxis and treatment of venous thrombosis. So the correct option here is D. Comer. You can WhatsApp me on the given number which is flashing again and again and you can click the link in the description box to join the seven day neat pg next masterclass blueprint which will be held in the month of june so click the link and join the seats are very limited thank you trilin is degraded by a enzymatic degradation b non-enzymatic degradation c k 
chemical degradation D none. The correct option here is A enzymatic degradation. Wishing you all the best.